Good evening. I'd like to talk about reading metric tubular inside micrometer. As we see in this photo, we have some of these inside micrometers with different ranges. For example, this inside micrometer is called micrometer head because there is no any extension rod or bar to this micrometer. The range of this micrometer is 50 up to 75. In this micrometer, we have a range of 75 up to 100 mm. In this micrometer, the range is between 125 up to 150, and this is between 100 and 125 mm. Regarding the application of the tubular inside micrometer, as we see in these photos, it is mainly designed for reading the inside diameter or inside dimensions, same like what we have in these photos. There are two types of the inside micrometer regarding the range or the way to extend the range. We have a single rod type, which means that the micrometer head is attached to an extension rod or an extension tube so that the, the range of the inside micrometer becomes greater. For example, the top micrometer, the range is between 275 up to 300 millimeter. This type is between 250 up to 275 mm. Regarding the single rod type, these are cannot be extended more or less, which means that the rod or the tube is fixed permanently. There is another tubular inside micrometer comes with extension rod. For example, this micrometer head with range of 50 up to 63. These are some detachable extension rod. For example, this rod with length 100 mm. If it is, if it is attached to the micrometer head, the range of the micrometer head becomes from 150 till 163 mm. Below here we have what's called the calibration gauge for the inside micrometer. As you see, the inside distance is perfectly with 50 mm. This calibration gauge is used mainly for the checking of the zero error for the micrometer head. First of all, we insert the micrometer head between these two faces inside the calibration gauge till we fill the complete distance, which is 50 mm. Then we lock the locking screw. If there is an offset between the reference line on the sleeve and the zero line on the thimble, we can use a ratchet spanner in order to to verify or to correct the zero error. Regarding the parts of tubular inside micrometer, we have here the sleeve or sometimes called the barrel. This is the thimble. This is the two, these are two anvils. And the reading of the inside micrometer is simply the distance between these two anvils. On the scale we have, on the sleeve we have a scale, it's called sleeve scale. And in metric graduation, it is divided into millimeter, whole millimeter and half millimeter. And we have on the thimble, we have another scale with 50 graduations. We have here the value of the precision or least count. It's 0 0.01 mm. And this is the range of this micrometer head, which is between 50 up to 63 mm. 
this is the locking screw when you lock this screw you are fix the thimble and prevent the thimble from rotating this is the main body of the inside micrometer let's understand how to read the length or the dimension of the micrometer head first of all we have the minimum range for this micrometer is 50 mm so the minimum micrometer range is 50 mm now we read the scale on the sleeve so the last line before the edge of the thimble is this line see that we shouldn't read this line because the zero line on the vernier graduation is above the reference or index line so we should read this line and this line is simply is line 7.50 mm so the sleeve reading is 7.50 mm now we should read the thimble scale as we know we consider the index or reference line on the sleeve to be the reference so this reference line lines up with line number 40 on the thimble graduation so line number 40 is read as 0.40 mm so the thimble reading is 0.40 mm now the total range is simply this is the minimum micrometer range which is 50 mm and this is the reading of the sleeve and this is the reading of the thimble graduation so the total reading is 57.90 which means that the distance between the two anvils is simply 57.90 mm let's have another example as you see here the minimum range is already included in the sleeve scale so the minimum range range is 35 mm which simply means that if we totally closed this micrometer so the distance between the two anvils is 35 mm so this is the minimum micrometer range now we should read the sleeve scale so we should read this line as you see here the zero line of the thimble scale is below this line so the edge of the thimble exceed line number 37 so we should read 37 mm on the sleeve graduation and regarding the reading of the thimble as you see here the index line or reference line is closer to the line number four so line number four is it as 0 0.04 mm so this is the thimble reading so the total reading is simply 37 mm and we have 0 0.04 mm on the thimble so the total reading is 37.04 mm let's see this inside micrometer as you see here this is the minimum range of the micrometer which is 100 mm now regarding the reading of the sleeve scale the line we should read is this line again we we shouldn't read this line because this zero line is above the reference line so we should read this line and this line is simply 0.50 mm so this is the reading of the sleeve it's 0.50 mm now we should read the thimble scale the closer line to the reference line on the thimble is line number 46 so it's, it's read as 0.46 mm so the thimble reading is 0.46 mm so the total reading is 100 mm which is the minimum range and 0 
mm, which is the sleeve reading, and 0.46 mm, which is the thimble reading. So the total reading is 100.96 mm. So this is about how to read the tubular inside micrometer in a metric system. Thanks a lot for your watching. Goodbye.